Right. No, we, we can go by and we can go. Yo, what right. the fuck is? What, yo, let's try to let's 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 drop the guy in the tank. Do you mean the fucking suicide? Yeah, I am, man. You just you're just not you you're want, not huh? you're not you on it. Thinker? You're not on the game, what do you man. Want, we we got suicide vests, and if you don't give us a tank, uh, your tank's going. Boom. Uh, okay. Uh, Oh, no. <laughs> okay, well, the tank did go boom. <laughs> That's what Yeah, let me go talk to the tank, man. That was not far. I'm sorry, man. I mean, I, I apologize. If there's any... If there's any... Did you guys not drive it for like 10, 10 kilometers, yeah, you know? We, we did. It was 700k. It's all good. Yeah. I, I, I jumped. I super jumped on accident. Oh. Hello. 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 Oh, Blow, Austin. Oh, he did it. <laughs> he did the blow for vehicle. Oh, the wheels are broke. Quick, I gotta take my offer. Everyone's dead. What the fuck? Good looks, brother. I, I got a suicide oh, vest too, bitch. Put those hands up. Do you? Yeah, I do. do you? Stop running. Oh, yes. What the fuck is that? Oh, you're not dead, Austin? It doesn't look like a suicide vest. I don't know. <laughs> I've got a suicide vest. Stop, I'll blow you up. Yeah, Austin, I think it's because the, you were driving so fast, the bomb fell yeah, backwards. You literally. You, yeah. We went too yeah. fast for a You we literally. Went to the hunter, so how you, are we some, going that fast? you somehow blew up a hunter, killed the fr and, and killed the three guys but behind we didn't me. Blow but up the hunter to begin with, like, the hunter was, like, just badly damaged and then blew up. It, it didn't blow well, up. How did, well, how did it blow up? I know, but the, the point is, yeah. you blew up a hunter and killed those three guys, but somehow you're fine. That's <laughs> pretty impressive. You did the thing in front, did the guys behind, you're in the middle, you're fine. Yo, what's up, boys, and welcome back to another Armor Free Life video. As you'll see from today's title, this one is all about what I believe to be the best support case of 2020. Definitely one of my best support cases ever. A lot of you guys in the past have asked me to do dedicated videos just on support cases. So if you're interested in that, then this is the video for you. If not, well, go watch one of my other videos where there's maybe a bit more gameplay. A lot of you guys are always asking for more Armor Free Life content, but I do have... I don't know, 3,000 or so videos on my YouTube channel. I'm sure a few of those are decent R of your life videos, which you probably haven't seen already. Anyway, before we do get into today's video, my birthday stream is going to be on July 28th. I'm going to be turning 27. So if you guys want to go celebrate and say happy birthday, Lewis, to me on that date, I will have a link to my Twitch in the top of the description. And also I'll be live on that Twitch channel right now if you are watching this video as soon as it goes up. But most importantly, July 28th, 27th birthday. So tune into that one if you want. And on top of that, we are coming up to my nine year anniversary here on YouTube. Almost hitting 200 million views overall. And also August 2nd, I believe it is, will be the nine year anniversary. I do have some merch planned for the nine year Sai Syndicate slash Sai Sin anniversary coming very, very soon. But just wanted to say thanks to all you guys who have stuck through the thick and the thin. Mostly the thin, let's be real. But maybe one day I'll be thick again. Someone did call me fat the other day, so... Anyway, there's a bit of context to set up for today's video, but trust me, it turns into a great support case, so we'll start off a bit slowly. This video, excluding the intro, was recorded on Answers, which just had its 3.8 update, so if you want to go ahead and check that out, I'll leave a link to that in the description. As always, hopefully you guys do enjoy. If you do, make sure you drop a like. If you don't, drop a dislike. And again, check me out. Follow me on Twitch. I have a top link in the description. Let's hop in. Hello? Yo, what up? Man? Oh, what's up, dude? Okay. I thought eventually we'd find Mr. Jordan. All right. Yo, I'm right here. Hello. Yeah, I know. I know you're here. What's up? What do you mean you're right here? I roll with you guys. Oh, you locked me I'm in, not... man. Wait, why are you in my car? Can you get out of my car, please? Unfortunately, I don't know who you are, stranger. Uh, I apologize. You're a sieve, dude. How do you have the keys to that bad sucker? Lockpick, sir. You lockpicked that bad sucker there. Yep, I stole it from DLC, man. Maybe you've clocked on already, but this video is all about this man right here. Although he hasn't committed any crimes against a rule book so far. Don't worry, he does. In case you're wondering where I found the car, by the way, it's not very important to the story, but it's pretty funny, so why not share it? Well, breaking out of DOC, this is what happened. Hop. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Which is this? Oh, we got enough. Poggers. Fuck, I don't have a bandage. This might be a yikes. I don't have a bandage, I'm so stupid. I didn't buy a bandage. If I bought a bandage, I would've been fine. How are you doing? Can you toss me a bandage? Yeah, you can buy bandages from a store now, I think. Maybe not that store, but most of our stores. He's literally just calling for units. Like, what a fucking lazy bastard. I mean, I respect that he's not just flying off a tower after me, but he can't? He's not allowed to pursue me? Oh, okay, cool. That sounds like a fun existence. 
I don't know how far away from island we need to get. Luckily, when you swim, I think you swim full speed with a broken leg. But am I going to get to that point? Probably not. But maybe. But probably not. But maybe. <laughs> no! Uh, sir, stop running, please. Please, let me up. Oh? Uh, how? See, it wasn't really relevant to the story, but kind of was. So after doing this, we head over to Rebel to meet up with my good friend Jordan so we can go try out some of Anza's 3.8 features. So I go ahead and buy him a loadout, which I then plan on dropping him when I tab back into the game. All right, Jordan, do you see this? I don't know who he yeah, is, man. Yeah, yeah, I need a loadout. That's okay, he's just socialized. He's trying to find friends. Hey, can I roll with you guys? Unfortunately not, man. I'm sorry. I just don't I just don't know you very well. I apologize. Stranger danger. Don't know you know? Me? Met your cousin the other day. Uh, the police officer. Man, it seems like you guys are like best friends. Yeah, yep. he just Should doesn't remember me. Did you? No, no, sorry, man. All right, do we need to load up, Mr. Jordan? I'm sorry, man. But just mean. Yeah, like I buy my own, but I I can't. Just, you know just here I mean? you go. Here you go. Take it. What? Because of money or because of something else? Oh, thank you. What the fuck, man? Can you drop the gun? Oh, I thought you were dropping me here. Nope. No. Can you drop it, please? What? The gun? The gun. Why? Because uh, I was I want to give it to Jordan. That's mine, dude. You gave it to me. Can you drop it? You gave it um, to me. Can you can you drop it, please? Why? Can you drop it? Can you move so I can pick this up? Oh, yeah, wait, what? Is it against the rules to steal no green zone? Clothes, it probably right? is, right? Can you drop the gun, please? Just go buy another one and zip ties. You feel me? Oh, are you trying to rob me? Whoa. Can you drop the gun? This is your last chance, okay? Can you drop the gun? Last chance for what? Can you drop the gun? Uh, no, 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 I can't, dude. It's not letting me. Okay. My hands are broken. Okay, thanks, man. Appreciate it. You can probably see where this one's going here. Nothing too crazy, but since I only have $300,000 to my name and I need to buy two loadouts for me and Jordan to have fun together, with friends, I kindly ask the man to drop it, and as I just said, not in game right there, it is indeed against the rules to steal inside a green zone. Whether it's a car, a weapon, or whatever else, as long as you are negatively impacting someone's situation while in a green zone, it's against the rules. So, we head over to support to go ahead and deal with the situation with admins, since after asking him about 500 times, he refuses to drop it, and then logs out. All right, up, you welcome to support, man. You're being reported today for an incident inside of a green zone where you stole a couple gear that was put down on the floor for somebody else. I mean, do you remember, recall that moment? Um, yeah, you just dropped it on the floor, so I picked it up. Right, right, but he uh, clarified in the video that it wasn't for you, so that would be considered stealing. And oh, since really? you are in a safe zone, yes, that's uh, oh, you're breaking rule two eleven. Okay. Hold on, wait. Can you read me two? Okay. Yep. Oh, uh, so we're not breaking the rule. Correct, because you're not able to steal or anything like that inside of a safe what, zone. What? What? But I, it's not like I hold on. Right. Can you so read me what part zone, of the you rule may not I commit broke. crime and it shouldn't have people harm people, steal vehicles, or any form of negative action. Right. So what? That'd so be, what exactly did I break? Negative action. Right. I just told you right now. Negative so I, action is that what it is? Right. I just I didn't read it to you. I'll read it one more time. So instead of a safe zone, you may not commit crime and it shouldn't have people harm people, steal vehicles, or any form of negative action. Oh. So you're not able to steal or anything like that. And that's considered negative action as well. Okay. <clears> Can I, well, I didn't count? know that. There you go. Can I reform account real quick? All right, and he's also looking for compensation. So if you were to give him the count for the gun, then he will push for points. Oh yeah. On your matter, okay? It's gonna be a 50k comp. Is that fine with you? 50k. It's an yes. M4. It's like I can buy it from the rebel shop for like 30k. Mm, can you confirm that with me? The price of the actual gun in the rebel shop? I'll I'll get the I'll get the price this one. Second. All right. Thank you. What's up, Lewis? What? What's up, dude? Are you in cereal? Me? Yeah. What? Are you in cereal? What do you mean? This specific one is 42k. Alright, then we'll just go with that then. 42k, is that fine with you? Yeah, I'm kind of broke, but it's okay. Uh, Lewis, is that fine with you as well? Yeah. Okay, perfect. We'll comp with that. Your case is going to be dropped. Make sure you give him the comp, okay? Uh, if he doesn't, it? obviously come back and we can go from there. I'm okay. sorry, what was that, Trey? I said poggers. Alright, All right, thanks, cool. man. You guys are just nice. Have a good one. You too, bye bye bye. So no big deal, just ask for a comp for the gun he stole, and we head back in game and go drive around to go rob some graves. You guys know I wouldn't hype it up to be the best support case of 2020, without it being a bit more interesting than someone stealing a gun in the green zone, surely. 
If we see any cops, we're probably fucked, to be honest, because there's quite a lot patrolling right now, but we'll see. Greetings, sir. Sure, ma'am. You wanna buy a cop car? That's the that's same guy. So which which guy? The guy robbed me? It's the guy that's yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? Positive. <laughs> well, don't miss the shot, man. Hello. Hey. Oh, I got keys, poggers. Nice. Cock. Oh, that's an S1! Hands hey, up, man, scumbag. You just s one to me. You can't do that, Out no. the car, or I'm gonna blast you in the just face. Out the car? Out the car. Without hey, I'm a gun. out the car. You just s one me. Put your hands you up. Put your you hands can't up. do this. Shut, you just s one me. Shut you up. Can't... Put your hands up. Okay, man. Okay, stop hands running or I'm gonna shoot up. you. Alright, man. Taking you to the... <laughs> Oh, you're a clown. What are you doing? Oh, you're a clown. Why did you shoot him? <laughs> He's a fucking idiot. Fuck that kid. All right, Where's well, my gun back? Yeah, get the gun and we gotta go, man. So this was literally the first guy we came across after obviously dealing with her support case. I think it was about 10 minutes or so I edited out. Very suspicious to see him in such a short amount of time. It does mean we get the money, which he did send me the 42k compensation and my original gun back. So I guess that's pretty good. But ultimately, you might have noticed something a bit amiss here. Jordan did kind of shoot him when perhaps he shouldn't have. Jordan was perfectly within his rights to S1 him. His initiation was perfectly fine. But should he have shot him here? Maybe not. For the fact that he was running around even while um, we had guns aimed on him and he also called him a clown while it was, was in restraints, kind of questionable. But Jordan maybe shouldn't have shot him. And this ends up catching up to us after we do some grave robbing and some drug boats. Probably was weird. Is that Coast Guard? Yeah, I think Coast Guard uh, might have missed some um, some lessons. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think they noticed. Question mark? There's a dead body in the middle of a road and two stolen cop cars, and we're like, <laughs> did we keep going? These cars used to be boats. I don't know uh, if you remember in CG. Yeah, I mean, maybe they still are. Do you want me to try out? Mm. Is, it, is it a Crown Victoria, or is it a different one? I feel like it might not have been. Was it definitely this one? Mm, yeah, now I'm second Whoa, guessing myself. Look at that role play, dude. That's actually pretty pog, but he's like role playing and stuff. That is kind of cool, yeah. Oh, I'm being reported. Please disable TFR. Okay, I'll wait for you. Do you want to come in the... Yeah, you can ask him to come, because I initiate on him, technically speaking. I might be able to help. Alright. Welcome, Lucy. Greetings. Oh. Can I see the clip? Yes, I can. Okay. Alright, here's the video clip as well. Basically, you're being reported for failed initiation, as you didn't provide a consequence. You only provided demand. And another thing as well is, uh, for the buddy Jordan, you're being reported for 4.7, which is you killed him when he complied with your demands as he was in handcuffs. I'll be right back one second. User joined your channel. Oh, that's, that's it. Cock. Whoa, I mean, that's an S1. Definitely stream sniping. No, came over and said, yep, cock. Hey, man, I'll just come back. You just s one to me. You can't do that now. User joined your channel. Or I'm going to blast you. You just... Face. He did give him a consequence. He said, he said, get out the call, I'm going to blast you in the face. What do you mean? What part was that at? Where did you hear that at? What 17, part of the video? 17 seconds? 17 seconds? Alright, let me take a look. You just... Face. Out the car? Out the car. Okay, right, I hear that part. Car. So then it's just 4.7 then. We'll go after, which is... Kind you of may not kill someone cuffs. who's complied with your demands. Correct. Demand. Okay. Um, I mean... I, I understand your heat in the moment, because I can hear it in the video. No, I wasn't, was it wasn't really... I wasn't really upset. It's more like, uh, you know, he's just quoting rules and just like I didn't totally. Quote any rules to you? Uh, do you want to watch your video again? Oh, I just said you can't ask one me because I was just trying not to die, man. And then you said something. What else did you say? Hold on, let me Bring watch back it again. One sec. So at this point, I was suspecting the man may have been stream sniping us since we met him twice in such a short amount of time. I don't know why, but recently I've had a lot of people come over to me and just yell my name. I respect that we're big, big fans, but obviously you can see why this wouldn't work if it was allowed, because it would make the server unplayable for me. I don't know what made me do this, because this is where things start getting very, very interesting, but I thought I'd search the name Trey in my Twitch chat and see what comes up, because why not? Lo and behold, I found this account right here. The user had some recent streams on Escape from Tarkov, so I listened to them and thought the voice sounded somewhat similar. At this point, I'm kind of suspicious. Just because I need scav kills? Is that the same voice? Are you fucking kidding. Is that the same voice? I mean, he just 
like he kept quoting the same rule. I can't S one him or something like that. Like, is your Twitch name X Tray sixty nine? What was that? Is your Twitch name X Tray sixty nine? No. That's not you. Why? No. Try to grab your phone profile, please. Yeah. Okay, man. Yeah, just need your phone profile. Then we can have that uh, as soon as we have the you. Okay. Wait, so, what, what's Jordan get, getting points for today? So, I, so we haven't right, even got to the point yet. We're starting to check out if he has any previous history, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Yeah, I do. Oh, I mean, it's clown. old, but. Oh, you're a clown. And if I believe correctly, he's asking for cop, <laughs> not points. <laughs> Correct, Trey? I'm an idiot. Fuck that kid. Uh, yeah, just for whoever killed me. Okay, and how much did you lose? Um. Let's see. I mean, the technically, gun. technically that was our gun. Did you ever buy it? Yeah, but I compensated you for it, man. I mean, I basically paid for it. I mean, you're obviously stream sniping as well, so like... How am I stream sniping? I mean, you did drive over to us and say, yep, cock. You know, I, it is looking a bit susp. I do that to everybody, man. <laughs> you're like, yep, Wait, cock. So what's your Twitch name? Huh? What's your Twitch name? Uh, here, I'll PM it to you. Yeah, this was the person I found right here. I searched Trey and this is what I found. Okay, I'm out of here. All right, let's go. No, I put my attack too with all my shit in. Okay, take a left, take a left, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know the deal. They're loud. <laughs> let's get the fuck out of here, dude. Yo, I capped that motherfucker. <laughs> Did he have any better helmet or anything? Uh, yeah. I don't know, man. Wait, check his about section. I know he's in chat. That's how I found his fucking stream. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Okay, I mean... Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's... I don't know, I think you might just... I don't know. Yo, Department of Corrections under attack. That's Pog. I actually, I love DOC raids. They're actually a lot of fun. Yeah, they are, but this video isn't about gameplay. It's about support cases, which is even better than gameplay. So at this point, we've caught them out on... More than likely, what is a lie, unless somehow another account, which has the same name as his roleplay name, has a YouTube link to it, which seems pretty unlikely. And as you can see right here, he was still in chat, so I took a picture of that to show the admins. But this isn't ultimately proof that he was stream sniping. Maybe he just came in chat after he started reporting us, after Jordan essentially RDM'd him. Maybe. Which means we've got to go deeper, man. I'm going to be back to only for a second. Is okay. one second. Is Lucio done with this case or not? Yeah, he's done with this. If you want to take him. Yeah, fine. do you want me to take you and yeah, no, the case for stream sniping Lucio? Yeah. Oh, I was, uh, was going to drag you out, uh, uh, but uh, what's up? Hi, man. So, can you send me all the evidence, please? Uh, yeah. So, I mean, this, this, this kind of goes back, you know, a while, but uh, like a second ago, I did ask him, is your name Xtray69? And he said no. And I can see Xtray is in my chat through that image right there. And, I mean, the YouTube channel has that video that he just uploaded. So, like, I mean, I don't have proof that he was necessarily in my chat at the time of this occurrence. But he did drive past us and say, yep, cock. And I did meet him mere 15 minutes ago where he, like, was asking over and over again, like, can can I come play with you guys? Can I come play with you guys? So, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've seen him two times in a short span of time uh, that he is stream sniping. And he also did lie to uh, in a support channel, which is that is that is that a crime? It, it it is frowned upon, yes. Lying to staff. Don't we don't tolerate lying. Yeah, it's actually really good detective yeah. work. As soon as, as soon as his name is Trey Black, so I just searched Trey in my chat list and I found him. I was like, I'm I'm happy with myself with that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um well on his YouTube it says his which is Trey underscore six six six. So let me uh have a type of that into it. I mean it's definitely not. I mean, is wait, what does it say on his YouTube? Oh, right there. No, that must be his old name. I mean, you can see if you go to the Twitch channel and then go to the About section, you'll see his YouTube is linked in that the X Three Sixty Nine account. If you click on About, yeah, that, that, that that's not even a Twitch channel anymore. Yeah, it's telling me to use my time machine. I don't have a time machine anymore. I sold it on eBay for how much? Like fifty p. Oh, should have put a um, reserve on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jeff, uh, he's, he's waiting for you in support room. Mr. Trey Black, welcome to support channel. You're currently being reported for stream sniping. Okay. <laughs> Wait, he typed in my chat defending himself? 
What? That wasn't negative action he just took the gun you dropped for him. You were talking about your own support case. Are you trolling? <laughs> no comment, dude. No, but, Lewis, I, I wasn't watching your stream, like, when the incident happened. I- I w- Huh? I don't know. Continue? I- I normally watch your stream, like, I've been following you for a long time, but I- I wasn't okay. stream sniping you, like, I- Okay. I'm like, it's not like I went and stream sniped you and, like, killed you guys or anything, or anything. It's not like I, uh, killed you guys. Well, the issue is you've already lied once, you know, so, you know, you lied in the support channel. Right. Can you see me for a profile so I can see a background, please, Troy? Yeah. <clears throat> but don't worry, it gets worse. I'm sure if you guys were paying a lot of attention as well, I actually included his uh, chat log in the intro calling me fat earlier as well, which I found out a bit later in this video. But as you can see right there, obviously, just a few seconds after we were reporting the guy, he tried to defend himself in the chat by saying it wasn't a negative action, and that he just took the gun you dropped for him. Looking back, I start asking questions. Oh, and it's, this guy was following me yesterday as well, remember? He wouldn't stop following me. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, he, he was following me all yesterday, asking me for money or something, like... Damn, Lewis has put some weight on since the old ALRP days. Yeah, it's a good comment, isn't it? Anyway, this requires a bit more context, showing you guys some clips that I recorded yesterday, which you wouldn't have seen already. What's what, what's your guys' names, man? I'm a new in town. Smile. My name is <laughs> Billy. Oh. You want some money? Oh. Yes, I want some God. money, please. What's, what's, what's right. your name? What's your name, and I'll give it to you. Oh, my name is Reese Trey Wong. Black, man. Hey, man. You know your voice, dude. I feel like I've heard you before, yeah, like man, on the I feel news. Like I know you. Like on the news or something, dude. Have you been on the news recently? No. Can I see your IDs? Yeah. yeah there you, there you go, man. Oh, okay. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem, dude. Okay, yeah, yeah, we'll check it out. Strained. Yeah. Whoa. I, I had to do that to check your ID, sir. Sorry, man, it was just oh, a quick oh. boom, boom, boom. Oh, maybe I don't. Let me have a look. Uh, I do indeed not need to do that. I do apologize for putting the shackles on you, okay? I'm going to go give you it's money okay, today man. as an apology. I don't have any money, so um, here's... Um, I, um, sorry. Bye, man. W watch out. Watch out. Oh, oh, we got robbery. We got robbery. Salt war. Gotta go, gotta go. Hey, bye, Lulu. I love you. It's been my dream to meet you, Lulu. Mm. Bye, Lucio. Is there when Cam that got banned last you. year? So this incident is why he keeps asking me for money, and this wasn't the first time he did it there. I said I didn't have any money, and I obviously can't give him a gun or anything, so I decided to give him nothing and said sorry and left him. But instead of taking that, he followed me around around several times throughout a few hours I was on Anzus that day, and also came to my chat and asked where his money was or something. Do you it's think a that's a little rude after you said off, you're, you're going to give me money? Off. Yeah, well, we debated you, okay? All right, time How to leave. How do you do that? That's rude. Yo, can you leave the scene, please? There's an active uh, crime going on here, unless you want to... Oh, oh, oh. Fine. Oh, hey, you're parking in the road. I'm going to have to attack your car. All right. Oh, Big no, ticket. no, don't do that. Don't. Sure it is. What? Oh, oh, my bad, my bad, my oh, bad. Oh, my God. This is this sorry, sorry, special. This guy just follows me around. Sorry, I just wanted like, to say hi to you. Do you have, do you have, how many brains do you have that are functioning? Say hi to Lou. Go away before you get arrested for regular manslaughter. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you guys okay? Those right there were just a few clips that I found in about an hour or so of me playing on Anzus. He might have came over to me other times, I don't really recall. They weren't being that annoying or that big of nuisances. But regardless, was it stream sniping? Well, this is of course what we are now trying to report a lovely man for. What's happening? Do you have any evidence showing that Mr. Mr. Bay has affected your game? I mean, he stole my gun, and he was following me around all day yesterday as well. And he also said I'm fat in, at one point in my chat as well. He's, you, you followed me all yesterday, right, Trey? Asking me for money? You were definitely stream sniping me then. There's no way you found me that many times. You literally like drove over to me three times saying uh, you owe me I money. just drove to the majors because I knew you were responding because you were, what, SWAT or something? I was nice. just I just drove up to the majors. What were, you, were you CID or what? Where were you? Well, I don't know what I, you were. SWAT? I was Vice, but the issue was during this time you also yeah. typed in chat. Right right here you were, you, were, you kept on typing during apparently not stream sniping me. I can see you typed four times here. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, but it, it wasn't like I was like, if, even if I was like following you, is that like, a, is that like bad? Like I wasn't like sh killing you or anything. Using any form of stream or out of game knowledge to find someone whose game is considered... Either metagaming or stream sniping, depending on if they're streaming or not. 
And what about yesterday? Um, <clears throat> that was yesterday. That was. When, when, yeah, when you were when you were following the mask in for money, how did you find the location? I was responding to the majors, or just going to the majors. Uh, I think I've like, got evidence of you coming to us on a beach when we weren't at a major. And on. is there any reason you were doing it to specifically, Lucio? Uh, no, I was just going to the majors. Oh, here and I just, here. Like knew I'm his sorry. voice. One second, I'm back. Because I've I, heard I him I'm, before. I think I got evidence. I'm sorry. You guys okay? Say yes, hi to the How many brain cells do you have that are functioning? Say hi to the Go away before you get arrested for regular manslaughter. I'm sorry. Ooh. Ooh. How do you how did he know how does he know that's me? Specifically? Because your voice is exactly the same? I mean it is you, isn't it? Would you not just say it's not me if it wasn't you? Not how does he know it's me? I mean, how do you know it's me? How is there is how is that evidence to prove that's me? Is it not you? Do you want a Ford Raptor? Uh, I might, yeah. You might. I can just check if you want. Yeah. So you did, what, okay. So it was you? Uh, no. Somebody else with a Ford Raptor. How is that me, dude? <laughs> there's no proof that that's me. <laughs> so, okay. There's no proof it's you. I'm asking you now. Yes or no answer. What? Was that you in the Ford Raptor? Now, remember, lying to staff no, is no, no. against Anza's rules. It's not you in the Raptor. No. Okay. I do have um, I do have some additional evidence that might help. So I can see at 6 hours and 42 minutes, I did tab out. And I can see the time is 4.20 a.m. And I can see the last time he typed was uh, 3.31 a.m. And the time which he came to me in-game would have been approximately 3.40 a.m. So it does kind of line up with, um, you know... Okay, do you want me to re-explain? Because you think I... Uh... No, no, you don't I didn't, I understand what I you're didn't know from. that like, he you, was you at the major. Like, you knew he was on duty because he came to a supermarket, and then you went to a major because you knew he would have been at the major because he's a cop, and cops yeah, have no, to go to Yeah, no, I heard him saying... I No, no, he said he said to his partner, like, we gotta go respond to that. So, and the, the huge, like, banner popped up, so I knew where I was going. I, I didn't know where he was because I was watching his stream. How did you find us on the beach, then? That um, wasn't me. Yeah, Lucio, could you just do that, that the timestamp things that hope yeah. would all add up again? Because that sure was very thing. confusing. I'll, that yeah. wasn't me on I'll the beach. It, back. it was 100% him on the beach, right? It was 100% him. Okay, so we can see right here, this was at 5.52. This is our first piece of evidence. Why is there a car dealership robbery? Okay, our second piece of evidence is at approximate, oh, let's see. 6, 16, we tabbed out, and you can see... It's hard to read. You, uh, you can definitely read it in the picture, though. You can see the time. Oh, actually, one second. I kind of need to do this. Like this. And then you can see... Oh, one second. I need to fuck it up again. You can see the time right here. 6.17 or 16. Take a picture of this. This is evidence number two. Okay. So if you do some quick maths here, we can see the time difference here is um, approximately half an hour. Okay. We'll just say half an hour. Which means... Um, that the time would approximately be approximately 3.46 uh, a.m. Okay. Then if we go to chat and go ahead and look right here, you can see on that very day, he was typing at 3.31 a.m. Okay. Which means the times kind of match up, right? Because that means he would have definitely been in chat at 3.31, which would have been about uh, four, 15 minutes before. Okay, I've got three pieces of evidence. Okay, so the first one is the time when he came over to us in a car, but he didn't come over to us in a car, apparently. You can see the time is 5.51. The second one, you can see the time on Nevada is 6.17. And you can see the time in the bottom right is 4.16. So, oh. So we go deeper here than no man ever has before. Essentially, I wanted definitive evidence that he definitely was stream sniping. It's still looking suspicious as is, but what I did is I waited while he was driving away and gone ahead and took a picture of his license plate and thought that maybe if I can get access to a police PC, which technically I was in on a sieve, but I logged down and went as cop anyway. But yeah, we could go ahead and search up for numbers. Unfortunately, although we did correctly type 845... 143, I think it was, or something, it didn't show up. And I think the reason for that is because the vehicle was from the day before, we need to be online, and every time you pull a vehicle in and out, it will be reset. 
in terms of the license plate. It's kind of buggy, could be a bit of a better system, but assuming we were online and we did it the day of, it would have been fine. But unfortunately, we didn't. So where do we go from here? I'm just waiting for proof, you know? Like, what what, what proof is there that it's me? You know what I'm okay. saying? So, the proof is number one, it's your voice. Dirty. Okay. Um, I'm now going to disclose to you, we have a tracks. witness. In fact, the person you were rolling with yesterday has given testimony that it was you in the vehicle. He also has evidence of you being with him. Mm-hmm. True. So, you've now lied to staff, Trey? I was just going to say it was me, because whatever, I'll just fucking give it up. But I was just waiting for proof of, like, it actually okay, being Okay, but when, when, I, when, I, when I asked you, you specifically said it's not me, so you... You were just going to give me another chance right me. there when you were going to say... You were going to say, what's it called? And then you moved Lewis in, and then I didn't have a chance to say it was okay, me. Okay, but it, it's taken us needing to get someone you were rolling with yesterday to do that. Alright. So, what's going to happen... Is yeah. myself and CJ are gonna discuss this. Uh, you'll both be moved out and you'll both be dragged back in shortly, okay? Okay, thanks, man. Og, Yupcock, in the chat, boys. When exactly was this timestamp for? Let's see, this was 31, which would mean. I mean, one second, let me do the maths quickly. So if it was 31. Oh, wait, I think the times pretty, line, pretty much line up. So if it was 31. But that means when he typed right here, not here, here, not here, here, was actually right here, 31, right? Because you can see the timestamps line up. So like in this picture here, you can see it's 16, 17. So it's pretty much like the same hour, except here it's um 5.31 versus 6.17. So it'd be 3 fucking 31 or 3.32. Greetings. Okay, so Trey, myself, and CJ have reviewed everything. All right. Um, and we have come to the conclusion you, you have sat and lied to us on multiple occasions. We gave you multiple chances. You didn't give in to those chances. You chose to still stand. You're going to say it wasn't you. Um, we've now come to the the fact that it, it was you in the vehicle. It was. It has been you following Lucio. So what? Alongside you lying to staff as well as stream sniping, you're going to be receiving 30 points and a three day ban as long as long inside a probation. Uh, for wait, a month. wait, wait. If, What's the um, let, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue, Trey. If any, if you're caught stream sniping anywhere within the next month during your probation, it will result in a ban. Do you understand? Okay, wait. What's a three day ban for? Three days ban for your point milestone. Wait, Lewis. Yeah. So why are you reporting me, dude? Stream sniping. Yeah, yeah, but like, dude, I, I reported Jordan, and I could have done points, and I he broke like a lot of rules, like I could have done points, and I only did comp, because I didn't want to be like a dickhead. Ah. Oh. Oops. Sorry. The support case all in all ended up lasting an hour or so. I tried to edit it down to be concise, still understandable, and all that kind of stuff, but ultimately, it was pretty obvious he was guilty after seeing not only the clip at the beach, which we couldn't really prove, but then seeing the license plate matched up with the one at the car dealership. You can go look at it if you want. Uh, I kind of edited that part out, but the two license plates matched up, and you could hear from the voice and the way he was acting. It was the same, oh, give me money kind of thing. Very, very obvious. And although he might have put his puppy eyes at the end, Oh, why you get me banned? Ultimately, he stole my gun, which kind of is a bit malicious and I don't have that much money. And he was stream sniping more than really anyone I can ever remember. Anyway, I've got one bet to do with Jordan before we move on to support case number two. But in case you're wondering, that was indeed one of my favorite support cases of all time. Some great detective work from chat and also from me originally finding the Twitch username. So the bet, the bet would be, if it sinks, I owe you a sub. If it floats, you owe me a sub. If, you, if you're happy with that, if you're not... I mean, do these things sink? I think this will, I honestly think this will sink, but I'm betting that it won't sink. But I actually think that will sink, to be honest. This, this calm in. I think it will sink. Okay, then I'm going to say it's going to float. Alright. Alright, one, one sub. <laughs> Oh, is Jordan dead? Oh, Jordan's dead. Is he dead? How's he dead? He's, he's actually dead. How did he die? We were in the war for like a second. I actually have no idea how he died. Like that's, 
I didn't ever finish our sentence right there. That's what, Lewis? What exactly is it? I don't really know. Either way, we went on our smuggler's boat, sailed the seven seas. Uh, it's a new feature we added. It's kind of cool, but it's it's got some issues. You'll see maybe in a future video, but it was fun. You know, gets cool squad after you and their little old helis or their boats or some boat PvP. Yeah, anyway, on to the next support case. I thought I'd have this one in as well because I think it would be interesting to get some feedback from you guys at home. I think the support case we just did with 3 day ban outcome was pretty straightforward. Um, could I have just avoided support uh, reporting them? I guess, but did he break several rules and steal my money? Yes, so like, but something you'll notice with this first support case and the second one is it's a combo of breaking a rule and being obnoxious that kind of makes me report people. It's a combination for a good support case, maybe, because they hate me. Oh. You received any. Okay. Yeah. What did you receive? Uh, dollar sign any. Hmm. That's what happened to me at the graveyard. That's Poggers, man. Um, well, that was a fun mission. Uh, I guess I'll see you in a few minutes. Yeah, but it's funny, Any though. Unit in the central area, an officer requires immediate assistance. Doesn't need nothing more. Ooh, that's a prison. Ooh, more to prison. Cop dead, paintball arena. Well, I was situation panic. So we just got two panic buttons north of Painfall. Takes us three minutes to drive there, so we set on our way. And four us from being plus one responding. <laughs> Feel about to get lit up, you know. Oh. Oh. That's them. Yep. The. We're reviving. Comp survived. It's good for it. I mean, doing it doesn't matter if you're reviving and we still shot them, no? Yeah, it's code for it, buddy. You were yeah, without Lucio. Yeah, you yeah, were yeah, outside yeah. the kilometer. Yeah, don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. I, I don't care if I'm outside the kilometer. If I turn up and you guys got class threes, you've got class threes. What are you talking about? Do we have class threes? Yes, the guy right in front of me has a class three. Why are you guys reviving cops? Because it's code four. I, that's not how are it you? works, man. But sure. This guy, that kid is so dense. Yo! I hate him so much. So what are you guys talking about? You're just being idiots. You're just, just fucking... being idiots, man. You're just being idiots. You're just That's fucking true. dense, dude. Stop talking. You've got a class three, you fucking morons. Okay, right, I'm in combat because uh, Lucio Panini is a stupid, stupid person. But like, I feel like I. I mean, we're initiated on him, he's not initiated on us. How does that one work? Huh? How does that one work? Don't you crash that mean stupid boy. What you gonna do? Don't you do it. No, no, no. Yeah, can you, can you not go? Just wait here a sec. No! Oh no? Hey! Fuck off. Alright, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Alright, you all have a good one, okay? Too, you yeah, sure? yeah, have a good one. Yeah, have a good one. Did you lock it? <laughs> Alright, uh, see you, boys. Hey, officer, you might tell him Lucio Panini's got an abnormally large. Fucker, you can get shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you wanna go to DOC? Yo, hop in. <laughs> hey, I love you, Adam. Hey, get a little claustrophobic. Why are you guys boxing in there? I'm about to get mowed down. I was some ravioli. I'm about to all of a sudden it's been tough, dude. man. Is it a terrorism <laughs> charge? No, yes, no, sir. Yes, no. Yes, Why are you just like yes, memeing with them? Like, what, what is this? Yeah, all right, all right, all right, sir. Oh no. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Misuse of force, misuse of force, the ACU, Adam Targaryen. I'd like to bring it out. Uh, Wait, place it down, place it down, place it down. Place it down, place it on the strike strip. Can you guys just leave, please? Can you shut your mouth? Trying to leave. <laughs> 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 Are you running around? Get in the car, get in the car. I'm trying to leave. This guy's running around the car. Happen, happen. Oh, wait, wait. He's read over here, dude. Hey, my cousin Yo, Austin, awesome. come here. Just to confirm, like, what the fuck is going on there? I don't understand. They've got like, class trees out. The thing is, if it's, it's a rule, if, it, if it's a rule play server, you don't kill cops and then revive them. Like, it's just, like, it doesn't make any sense. If we arrive on scene and you're reviving cops, it doesn't matter if we were click out. But yeah, we don't have initiation. We're not going to spray you down. Like, what? If they were just fucking around, like, SWAT is like pulling them out of vehicles over and over again. It's just yeah, like, it's just not roleplay, I don't know. 
This is stupid. Yeah, you're, you're their brother. Yeah, really... Yo! Talk to me or I yeah, I I mean, I just like, I don't know what, can you, what, what's your stance on like, I mean, I don't know if you guys are like friends of those guys or whatever, but like, isn't it just a bit weird when they kill you and then revive all of you? And then get upset when we arrive on scene? Like, they were like, yeah. say, saying we can't do anything because they're reviving you or something? Like... So, the way, the way it works is initiation lasts 10 minutes, but... It wasn't 10 EMS, minutes. If, yeah, if an EMS okay. is reviving... It makes it good for it. if they're reviving. But like we can still reviving. come over and initiate if yeah, they've got class threes yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. As soon as we turned yeah. up, they were saying, "Oh, we're reviving cops. You can't do anything or something." Like what? Yeah. So if they're reviving cops, you can still shoot them. If you if like say say we called it out class threes, whatever. You were within thousand meters. If they're reviving us, you can shoot them. I didn't. I didn't but... want to shoot them. I didn't want to. I mean, I was going to initiate on them. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But the thing is, when we went, when we were going to do that, they were yelling and saying, "Oh, we're reviving cops. You can't do that. It's called for some shit." Like. What? Uh, and what? Civilians and cannot call something code for only uh, only medics can. But why are they even reviving cops? It's not like like if you kill someone and then revive them, it kind of makes the whole action pointless. Like I don't know. It's because they want to end the situation. They want to cut their losses and, and get their boys up before they bleed out. That's why they do it. Yeah, this is one which I really wanted feedback on the idea of opposite factions reviving each other after incapacitating each other. I can understand why a cop would do it. To obviously, bring them to jail. But for Civ to kill like 10 cops apparently was dead there, only to pick them up and then to complain when more cops arrive to a panic button and quote rules which aren't even relevant there and say we can't do anything when they've got class freeze out, I don't know. So I bring it to support. You can see the rule which they were talking about on screen as well. What's up? Doesn't matter. It does, you literally just said that well, you're not supposed to be yelling people that what they can and can't do. And the first thing you said is that we're not allowed to arrive medics. Why are you quoting rules if we're not allowed to then? Wait, what? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. The first thing you said when you rolled up is that why are you arriving cops so you can't do that? And you just said that we're not supposed to be quoting rules. Like, that there's sounds no, pretty there's hypocritical. A, there's, there's no rule again, so it's just fucking stupid. Why would you revive cops? Well, the, the, anytime it's called cool four, we do it. It's, that's like you know that. Don't act like that doesn't go on all the time. I I, I personally I, I, don't see that happen. Okay, all right. Why did you not just let medics do? Was medics right beside you? No. Because there's 15 of them dead. People were gonna bleed out, and while you're arguing that uh, we're reviving them, one of your SWAT bled out. So that's unfortunate for him. I'm sure you can buy a new loadout. You'll survive. Okay. Yeah, okay, so I don't know what the fuck like, is being <laughs> argued here. <laughs> I'm very confused because... Yeah, like the name thing, it could come from anywhere. Like a rest in any like, situation we've, we've come in contact, it could literally be anything. Like, uh, I don't know, like I don't have a recording of me getting your name, and I don't think I'd ever have to record something like that, so I really just um, don't understand where the report is going so, right now. So I don't understand, are you reporting us for us reviving me uh comps whenever a medic literally came in and started like there was a medic there while you showed up and that's why I, and that's how we know it's code for by the way uh, if that's what you're reporting us for is if it's code for and i'm i'm like I'm, mucho confusion no, it's here. when we arrived on scene you started throwing rules at us I'm, I'm reporting throwing like rules. a shit role player like i don't think cops okay. i don't think civs should revive so, cops and i don't know why you said like you can't do this you can't do this like what 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 did i do which i can't do there what do you think I was going to do? Just spray you down? Well, we're letting you know that it's code 4. That's the thing. I wasn't going to shoot you. What makes you think I was going to shoot you? Uh, you ca you literally shot a bullet in my by, general direction. By, by accident. No, if I... If okay, I, if how I, if are I, we supposed to know that? How are we supposed to know that, Lewis? How am I... Because I... What do you mean? I know the rules, dude. We were free, we were free minutes until Obviously we got there. Obviously not, because you started complaining, asking us why we were reviving cops. I mean, like that's we not, don't, that's not you don't want us to revive honest. your teammates. No, I don't. That's I, not breaking I, our I, I, I don't want. I don't. You want to? I think that's shit roleplay. It doesn't make any sense. You kill a cop and you revive him. How does that make any sense? It's just not roleplay, is it? Okay, so once a situation is code four, you don't want us to revive your teammates. I'm very no, confused. I still do not want. If you've killed someone and then you revive okay, them, what's the point I just, of killing them? I would them? like like to ask you a question, Mr. Hat Admin. Is it against the rules <laughs> to revive the opposing team after your situation has been called code four? I don't believe so. I mean, okay. I and that's, that's coming from medics of fair. I mean, I'd it argue it's, it's not good role play. Is that, there was 20 is people play? there. There was 20 people there at uh, max that were down. And, it, like, 
you don't want us to revive them? We, no. we, it's a video game. We're supposed to be having fun, right? So we want those guys to take all that time, respawn, and get their stuff up. If it's if it was against the rules, by God, report us for it. But head admin just told you it's not against the rules. And if and, it's that much a, of a problem that it's not roleplay, then it, it would be in the rules. But clearly, it's not for a reason. Cops do it. I, 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 do I don't, it. I don't agree with I, I don't see a reason for you to be reporting us right now. Like, what exactly? What rule did we just break? What what rule did I, I mean? Fail RP. Yeah, it was fail, fail RP. RP. But how quoting so? rules but once we arrived so? on scene because so you started quoting, quoting the rules. thousand meters of rule. Yeah, you were like, oh, you guys were a thousand meters out. What are you doing? What are you doing? You guys were a thousand meters out. Like, what okay, do you mean? you're dropping rules. I said it RP. once. I would not say it vulgarly. I just said it once. I let him know. Yeah, it's still broken. Situation was code four. Okay, thanks for admitting to it. Okay, it, it, fail RP, it, Steve Snow, correct me if I'm wrong. That's not something that, um, like, it's supposed to be something that's rigorous. Like, like, okay, saying the R word, right? If I said it once, right? Are you talking? Uh, and this, this was, well, but, yes, but, this was just, okay. yes, yes. And uh, if, if I said that once, and I believe this was actually explained to me by, um, I think it was Dylan, Dylan Rogers, uh, if you say it once, it's not a reportable offense because it's not vigorous. Unless you're, I'm calling someone, like, unless I said Lucio Oh, so if I just ordm someone once, like, you, know, you know, it's what okay. I, mean? I need to do it multiple times for it to actually be ordm with that logic. What? No. <laughs> Those are <laughs> two completely, completely different, different rules. Yeah. What? I mean, yeah, you're quoting a different rule. What? Yes. You just you said it yourself. I'm quoting a different rule. I don't really see this going anywhere, Steve. So I don't understand what we're breaking and what we did wrong. All right, I'm gonna get a second opinion on this real quick. I'll uh, be for right. a moment. Yeah. I actually have no idea what Steve Snow said, but I think he said he's gonna move us down and he's gonna talk to another member of SMT or, or something. I do think that I really uh, got my point across really badly here. Well, I didn't really get my point across at all. I'll go ahead and show the 1000 meter rule on screen right now. Just so you guys know which rule they were quoting when we rolled up. This rule honestly had no relevance with the situation. I was not planning on shooting them. And I think it was simply a strategy to allow them to all escape scot-free from this situation. You can't say a situation is code 4, but then also run around with a class 3 on your back. And again, I'd like to reiterate, I don't think you should revive cops after killing them. It's supposed to be a roleplay server. If you want to do that in your own time... That's fine, but if someone walks up to you, you better either have a great roleplay reason for doing it, or be prepared to be initiated on by a cop, because ultimately, you've still got that class 3 in your hands, whilst you're also CPRing the man. So it doesn't really matter. You've got a gun, an illegal gun, right beside a dead cop. What do you want me to do? Say, haha, nice, you guys won this epic PvP event. No. And obviously, Ansys isn't the peak of roleplay, but I just... I've, I've honestly never really seen this level of weirdness where opposite factions revive each other except on something like Takistan. I can understand why a cop would do it again to bring them to jail. Um, and, and the cops do have, like, I'm not sure if it's SOPs or rules, but where they can only revive or try to revive a Civ two times before we have to stop. And then they can't bring them to jail at that point if there's no medics online or if medics too far away. But in this case... Um, you don't need a rule written for everything, otherwise the ANZUS rules will be longer than you already are, and they already are incredibly long. I'm sure you guys have read them already. You can check it out in the description if you want. So, yeah. Anyway, after the nice admin talks to the other nice admin, he comes to us with a final conclusion. It's a pretty exciting one. Alright, so... It's just going to be dropped at 100%. What I've just been told by the management is to drag it to forums, which... I know that sucks, but... Oh my fucking god, I don't even have a forums account, no, that's fine. Back. That's fine, mate. I, I, can, I can do that. So I do precisely that, obviously not the preferred technique for, in quotations, content, homie, because you don't get the, you know, back and forth between people, although we pretty much got all the back and forth that we could get. So I write it up and uh, post on the forums, and hopefully this time around I contacted myself in a more uh, easily digestible way. I still don't really think I did, it was just a really weird situation. But luckily for you guys, through the power of editing, we've got the results of this report right here. Which is a, a, just a bad report, if you honestly like, read it. Like, what, what does it even say? This was the initial reply from McLovin, who we also talked to in the voice channel. I responded essentially saying that they weren't remaining in character because for some reason the character was reviving for cop, which didn't really make any sense. And finally, Douglas Jumper comes in, gang strike for Roger's side, 
Report validated an RP and sent the ACU for cop side when they were constantly pulling the cops of the civs in and out of the car as well. And he said, Regicide, please remember that this is a real persona referring to your pen pal is against the rules as well as you need to actively evade after committing crime. So I sent drove all the way there. Just have a situation shut off by really bad role play. Yeah, you can't really just scream at cops as soon as they roll up and try to allow this to evade. Ultimately, they had a bunch of people down and there was a bunch of cops down and they did really just use it to defuse the situation, which wasn't over. If someone hit a panic button and we go over and there's dead people there and there's guns and stuff with dead bodies, you know, you can put you can put two and two together in that situation. And like I said earlier, it was literally medics on scene. We could have just let medics deal with it, but they didn't want to because he had guys down as well. So I wasn't going to end up too well with them. My suggestion for those guys is in the future, go ahead and Windows key your dead friends, pick them up, move them, revive them somewhere else, and get out of their ASAP. Because a cult faction is just really one big, big gang. And this was a classic, classic mistake, like I said earlier. They not only multiple of them inside the gang, for some reason were shit-talking me, but they also were the ones at fault in the situation. Don't get me wrong, I make mistakes too, but normally if I do make those mistakes, I try not to then shit-talk the enemy as well, because it seems to... Um, increase the chances of getting reported in that situation. Sometimes if you make a mistake, you can go ahead and make things up by CPRing them, which is a valid reason to revive someone on Ops of Faction if you did genuinely make a mistake. But ultimately, if someone else who doesn't know this um, association turns up, well, then it's it's open game. And anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know, and maybe I'll make some more dedicated support videos. Or if it was complete shit, and you just want to see some normal gameplay, let me know too. Although I couldn't find direct quotes, people saying I should make dedicated support videos in the intro clips, as I'm sure you noticed. Trust me, people have asked in the past, so if this is good, great. If not, whoops, at least I tried. Anyway, have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Alright, I didn't forget about the Daisy and Star Citizen video, by the way. I just, um, I don't know, almost more fun to edit somehow. I don't know. I didn't forget though, don't worry tacky watchers